Oh, in the dark. Day seven. Wake up and walk. Got bouncing along here this morning. Got my kit. Heading out to the burbs. So it takes me about 10 minutes to get to the subway. Um, take about a 15 minute subway ride. Then I'll walk for about another 10 minutes to catch a private bus on about a 40 minute commute. So that's the nature of the beast. The good thing is I'm only now out there for a couple of hours like back in the afternoon. So sometimes it does seem like a lot. But uh oh it's so dark. I'm so sorry, it's just early in the morning. It's about 615. And it's about uh 70 degrees. It's kind of the reason why I don't do the video when I'm up early like this because there's not much to see I think. Um, I want to talk a little bit about living in a city like this and having sort of like a, a kit, man bag, <laughs> man purse, backpack, whatever else, for safety reasons. Let's see the mo bikes here, came home drunk. Um, for sort of safety and security, we like to do the uh, the front bag. Interesting. Not sure what the city workers are burning there, but they're burning something that they don't want to throw away. You know, if it's uh, burning for a reason or burning for luck or superstition anyway in your city kit you need a couple of things tissue I've said this before and tissue is important you won't get it in a restaurant unless you request it and pay for it you definitely won't find it and most WCs, as they like to say, for the British water closet or bathrooms. So, you gotta carry your own. Better safe than sorry. Me being over prepared because two is one and one is none, I like to go with uh, tissue and a little package of wet wipes. The other part of it is that you want to be able to sort of like clean your hands pretty frequently. As you see, people in a dense population like this might sneeze or cough or whatever else, so you can be a bit of a germ phobe. Better safe than sorry. Here we go, I'll get out here on the road a little bit. Hopefully nobody will hit me. The other thing I put in my kit, obviously is a charger, power bank, cords, headphones, an umbrella. I keep a little stash of cash, even though everything is getting to be at the point where it's cashless. But if you don't have access to your phone, that could be problematic. So I try to keep it together. I keep a, what they call a Metro card, which works on all the subways and public buses. And you can even buy things at some of the convenience stores and you just charge it up. Uh, at the convenience store or at the metro station. So that also can help you with a cute little stash. So when we talk about the cash of the economy, you can go here 
and you scan a QR code and it charges your account linked to your phone linked to your bank account there's a couple different payment forms it's definitely made a difference in the city for sure oh let there be light After my lecture on walking hazards, I'm doing this. It's a bit of a tightrope walk. I'm glad to do it. Got into like another 19,000 steps. Again, around 10K. So if a 5K is three miles, that means I'm doing six miles a day in the first week. So I'm gonna have to rechange and recalibrate my goals. And probably with the next two weeks, that six miles will go up to seven miles. I'll eventually get back to where I was, which is 10 miles a day. Still only eating in the evening, one meal a day. It's a big meal, but I feel pretty full and I'm able to get through the day. So. All right, I'm gonna jump in the metro here. Thanks for hanging out early in the morning in the dark. The main thing for me is that we get up, we get out, and we get going day after day. And it feels great. The old part, Shimon Ho. Which is funny because they're used to foreigners here, but not many foreigners live here in this district. And when you talk to other people about living here, they're like, mm, that's the old part of town. I'm like, yeah, that's why I like it. You can't be a Lao Wai, an old outsider, I guess, unless you live in the Lao Wai part of town. Kind of sounds like a country song. So it's nice and warm today, less damp. I didn't bring a jacket. That's the other thing I kind of messed up on, was usually I keep a kind of a portable rain slicker. So I'll put that in my bag tomorrow. All right, thanks for listening. I gotta go, bye.